Ready, Freddy? Hope we're all that ready. Callow, all right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Sorry. You okay? This is exactly why we came. A new galaxy? A new ship? I can't wait to get both a little dirty. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shield holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Set us down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. They must have known these wouldn't this last. This analysis in these provides us with important research they data didn't have for Pathfinder. Them. If you continue to now. scan and collect this we'll data, we can own. utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a near by power relay tower. So we're not the only 
the ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look. I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Generator interface possible. Location marked. We've got company. environment without pathfinder that door is locked until power is restored there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings you took down all those cat sure use the power relay hell take whatever you like word of advice though if that signal of yours is out past the perimeter you'll need a ride a ride shuttles aren't fun in these winds you need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else.
Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Really, Ryder? Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. For well, what do you know? The outpost's research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Ugh, can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles, if you need Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Radiation level's normal. random symbols glyphs with more glyphs to expand my database from habitat 7 i could interface fully with the console and hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere i could provide analysis via the scanner pathfinder
bit slippery, but there's a great view. Could be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Okay, let's solve this thing. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Back off, or I will push you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. No, that's okay. You're obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. tangle with the remnant was a lot messier the remnant these monoliths the observer and assembler bots they're all the remnants of something much bigger but that's too long Ugh, I hate long so the remnant like my name's better as PD thanks for helping with those things I'm Ryder you're a mystery I've been studying those glyphs for months and then you arrive and pff, solved I saw this tech clear the skies on habitat 7 we're hoping you could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. You're sure it'll help EOS? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that, Ryder. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange.
another eidetic trigger, Sam? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Pathfinder, this is the spot where Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. In honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. Life support is stable. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. Nexus issued equipment nearby. The person who left this behind, she was part of the first wave of colonists, wasn't she? The probability is high. This researcher may have left data pads at other remnant sites as well. Spot is shelter, water, stable ground? It was initially overlooked due to heavy kept presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent. The Site 1 folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here.
remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. I detect a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to decrypt it. So close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Slow start. Nice job, Ryder. Got this. We oh no. No. Damn it. The remnant aren't all bots and maybe blue skies. Stay careful. I think that's enough. Got it. That did... whatever that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. find remnant tech. I was just thinking the same thing.
Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Data key, Specialist Engineer Aman Kathari. Chased down by what he was studying? Personnel deaths were not recorded. The Chief Engineer halted reports to the Nexus. That sounds bad, but nothing on EOS sounds good. Ever disobeyed an order, Cora? In my soldier days? No, that's kind of the point. It's that mechanical. You never thought about it. Military discipline isn't there to give you something cool to rebel against. In combat, people depend on you being in the place they expect, doing what you're meant to do, or they die. That doesn't mean you're doing the right thing. I know. Activating automated forward station deployment. 